and what we did with the entrepreneur visa, how we beat the U.S. I mean, That's, you, you, you hit were it out part the park, of that. <laughs> so, well, I didn't want to gloat, but uh, uh, there's a couple of things around the visas that I think that were incredibly important. And Russ, by the way, in his organization, is continuing this work also for the benefit of the whole of the U.K., in that one of the work streams is the immigration work stream. So not only do we have a great, you know, a very positive immigration framework, um, but we're continuing to improve it. So one of the things that's recently come out, so there's the entrepreneur's visa, which of course is very important. It was fantastic to have. It needed a little tuning, to be honest, to, to make it work. Uh, and by the way, it is extraordinary what the serious program brings to this, uh, this community yes. in, in helping to not only attract some of the brightest and the best from around the world, but actually convening you and, and giving your businesses, if you like, a soft landing. I have never seen anything like that. I don't know of another government that's, that's doing this. So that, that's pretty awesome. Thank you, right? Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, government. Kind of, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of useful. It's very hard, isn't it? Somebody from government says, hi, I'm from government and I'm here to help you. You know, you want to run for the hills. But to. actually, yeah. this is very helpful. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't stop there. It needs to continue to improve. And that's some of the work that Russ is doing. So, we, you know, once you're established as a company, <laughs> you need to become an employer. And not all the skills are in the UK that are going to help you to do that. So you need to become what's called a sponsor. And that's quite expensive for companies, right, to become sponsors. So what we've done together with the Home Office is propose this thing which is now published, which is called, you know how you have VCs, venture capital investors, who come to places like this and do office hours? So we decided to call this Home Office Hours and get the Home Office to come that's and teach right. you guys on how to become employers and sponsors without you wasting thousands. You don't need to. just need to learn how to do that. So that's part of the next step, isn't it? Yeah, Russ, tell them what Leslie Sarman, everybody at Pennington's, does for us because they've been so amazing working on they this. Leslie, would you stand up? Take a, take a bow. Look at this amazing woman. She works all the time she to help does. us with immigration. Leslie, Leslie leads... Tech London Advocates has a number of different working groups. Uh, James leads the, the triage working group. Leslie leads the talent and immigration working group. And, and there's about 20 some odd people in that group, including Eric. And we've had a couple of meetings already with the Minister for Immigration. We have a joint working group set up with the Home Office. The Home Office has been excellent. They're very willing to come in, to sit down with startups, to help explain how you fill in some of these forms, to go through some of the steps. We know it's an expensive process for a lot of early stage businesses. And so we're trying to work with them to, to open these things up, whilst in parallel, we are having some very good discussions being led by Leslie and some of her colleagues at Pennington's Manches on immigration policy and how it's impacting the tech sector. Now obviously that's a longer term initiative. We have to get into the immigration policy cycles and we are working on that. But we're hoping that home office hours and you know with some of the work that, that Eric led on, things like the exceptional talent visa, we need to make sure that those are being taken up too. And I think if we can demonstrate that there's a lot of interest and support in these things, I think we certainly have a Minister for Immigration who's very supportive and very willing to listen to more ideas to help the sector.